In perfect weather, 78 public school teams shoot for the Ashburton Shield, the public school's championship, as the 1950 Bisley meeting opens. Competitive shooting began in the 10th century and was one of nine original Olympic sports. Since then, the sport has grown with 20 million competitive shooters in the U.S. alone. There are three classifications under which shooting sports are put into. Those using a handgun, rifle, or shotgun. All disciplines are scored based on the accuracy of the shots, although some factor in speed as well. Uh, with your thought process, it's, it's very much a, a, a thinking sport. You're not just pulling a trigger, you're, you're making your body as still as possible. What I like most about competitive shooting is most probably the atmosphere, and especially since I get to compete with my dad. We get to travel a lot, so it's a really good experience shooting with my dad and friends. I like competitive shooting because it's hard, and it sort of prepares you for everything else that happens to you in life. So you don't, there's, there's no luck here. You have to spend the effort to get better. There's still a lot of people that enjoy competitive shooting, but places to go are, are, are dwindling. Once you hear about the, how they actually regulate guns in California, if you're a person who's open-minded on any level about the discussion, it's really deeply disturbing. We expect annual changes. Every year there's something that is making it harder for us to get the necessary things such as ammunition, um, magazines, or just the guns themselves. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom has launched an initiative campaign to make California already strict gun laws even tougher. Each gun that needs to be approved, the manufacturer has to pay a minimum of $150,000 per firearm. Legislation is going to be thrown out there with them not understanding what this sport is. California voters recently in the last election passed a proposition to track people who buy ammunition. And it was signed into law by Governor Brown. Then you have those who will lie to the public and say that they want to have just regulation, but they do want to appeal the Second Amendment. And that has, has had and will have a significant impact on the sport of shooting. And so that's why in San Francisco you don't have a single gun shop anymore. In service rifle style shooting, the rifles are, you know, military rifles. They come with 20 round magazines. And that's what we've shot here for years. But they're illegal in California now. So the California juniors that want to get involved in competitive shooting have, well, have a problem. They, they can't compete nationally. Being in the state of California, it's, it's, it's kind of hard being a gun owner. People would be talking about, you know, things going on throughout the world and all this stuff and how they don't understand how anybody should be allowed to handle guns and such on, you know, to think guns are evil. The Richmond Rod and Gun Club is one of the few remaining shooting ranges left in the Bay Area. While the club itself requires membership, ranges are open for public use. This allows competitive shooters to remain active even in the liberal Bay Area. The Richmond Rod and Gun Club is a recreational area. It's been around since 1952, and uh, we have all types of sports here. Shotgun matches, rifle matches, uh, rimfire matches, and these uh, attract anyone from juniors to senior citizens. Membership has gone up dramatically, especially since one of the previous sister clubs uh, closed down. And we have up to 140, 150 people coming out every single weekend to do this sport. People are buying firearms of their own, wanting to learn how to use those firearms, becoming proficient with those firearms, and they're coming out here for that. I, I played many other sports um, throughout school and growing up, and the hospitality when I first started shooting competitively has, has just been amazing. I was welcomed in with warm hands. You know, people are just very friendly. I know there's a lot of negativity out there, but those are different. I mean, when you have people who look at a firearm as a weapon and they, call it a weapon. We look at it as a, as, as a tool of our sport. And it's, it's fun. I mean, it's just, like, it's just like any other type of sport. 
The only thing different about this is we're using a gun instead of a football or a basketball. The legislation is really not thought out. They're just throwing gun laws out there and we adapt to it and we keep shooting.